Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Guess who got evicted? Guess who got evicted? Yeah, that's right. I've been singing that around my house and I am thrilled to be talking about this one. You guys never let me down in the comments. You let me know that Harold and Fraud got evicted. So I'm here to talk about it with my lovely assistant, who I will probably get evicted with. Say hello, Jay. Hey, this is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes on YouTube. I'm here to talk about people getting thrown out of their house. <laughs> Without getting thrown out of your house? With without getting thrown out of our house yeah. yeah so we're here with uh extra content you guys had asked if i saw this and boy did i ever so let's take a look at what's going on with hank and skank so according to the daily mail harry and megan quote rage at cruel punishment after charles decided to evict them from frogmore cottage just 24 hours after spare was published stunned couple are already moving furniture to california i do not understand why they had to include <laughs> That's a quite lengthy title for that article, but that is also hilarious. Guys, they got evicted. I love King Charles. Oh, no, Daddy, don't throw us out of the home that we don't really live in, even though we don't want to be a part of anything. We just want our privacy. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. I mean, he, I wonder how he did it. You think he did some Harry Potter magic and said, like, <laughs> Evictus uh, <laughs> Sanctorum. Get, get, get out of this. <laughs> Voldemort's the, uh, uh, the landlord. Uh -huh. the, oh, Get out of the house, or we'll do some magic tricks at you. Okay, who is Harry Potter in this scenario? And I know you're not making fun of our King Charles. We love him. He just evicted Dumb and Dumber. That's amazing. I wasn't making fun of him. I just don't know that many British people. So that's that's all. That's my arsenal right there. But uh, I guess Frogmore is now a frog no more. So King Charles Part 3, King Harder, began evicting Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage just 24 hours after his son released Spare. And the couple believed it is cruel, it was claimed today. His Majesty initially gave his son and daughter-in-law weeks to pack up their grace and favor British home in the grounds of Windsor Castle after Harry released his memoirs. But now they have at least until after the coronation in May, a friend of the couple has claimed. A source told Page Six that Britain's monarch started the eviction process on January 11th, the day after Spare had his global release. So he read that fast. <laughs> he must have been up all night. Okay, first of all, I love that you called him King Charles Part 3. I think that's great. Second of all, ha ha, F off you two. Peace out. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I love that he started the proceedings the day after Spare hit. I do love your take, Jay, that he read it, that King Charles read it really fast. I'm sure he has people to do that and they say, oh no, nope, not good. So King was like, okay, I got this. To be fair, they probably just had to read like two pages and they're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think he read the part about his todger and Diana's face cream? Ew. Well, if he has, I wonder if the King has TikTok. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can see it. That'd be hilarious. You know, he's up in his tower in Windsor or wherever and, it, and the, you know, somebody in the courtyard just hears, my penis was oscillating. Oh, my God. penis was oscillating. He's like, ew. <laughs> All right, the Sussexes have reportedly started planning how to move their belongings to California, including whatever fancy stuff, fancy furniture. Okay, the, from the home that they lived in until Megxit and stayed in following the Queen's death last September. The insider told the Sussexes' favored royal reporter, Omid Scobie, today, it all feels very final and like a cruel punishment. Of course, Omid's saying that. He's, his la he's their lapdog. He's... Sad that they're losing some luxurious things, but seriously, are they really shocked? It's like the family want to cut them out of the picture for good. I'm sorry, who's cutting who out? Because I think these two are known for cutting people out, not the other way around. Harry and Meghan have until early summer to vacate. Initially, they were given just weeks, but now they have at least until after the coronation. Incredibly, Charles has rep reportedly offered the keys to Frogmore. All right, I'm going to cut myself off right here. Jay, give a little disclaimer here. All right, yeah, so here's the part that's hard to talk about. So this involves Prince Andrew, who... We hate that guy. Yeah, I mean, you, if you're familiar with him, you may also know him as the royal court diddler. <laughs> oh, so, I mean, what's that's pretty bad if he's got a better <laughs> rental application than those two. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't usually talk about that guy, ew. Um, but apparently he's getting he's getting the keys to this place. Here's my thoughts on this, and here's basically what they're saying. Apparently, 
the royal diddler, <laughs> to quote Jay, uh, is living in a huge what, royal lodge. It's this huge mansion, has like 30 bedrooms, I don't know, 90 acres of land, whatever it is. It's ridiculous, right? And he pays like 250 pounds a week to be there. It's, again, ridiculous. So this is Charles's offer, take this, go away, bye-bye now, is the way I'm understanding it. I don't like it either. I know. But I do like Jay's joke that he had a better rental application than Harold and Fraud. So Mr. Scooby has said two members of the royal family are appalled. <laughs> and Megan was quoted saying, Zoinks! <laughs> you tell him, Scoob! So royal sources have declared this spells the end of Harry and Megan's time in the UK. In 2020, there were reports that most of their belongings were removed when they immigrated. So, sounds like they go bye-bye. Um, and it, it goes on. Uh, it also mentions that uh, the late show with Stephen Colbert released a new clip with Harry filmed in New York a month ago where he answered quick-fire questions about his life. Man, Stephen Colbert has really milked this thing, hasn't he? Yeah. And you remember, you remember back when he was funny? What happened when he left Comedy Central? <laughs> it's like, I tried watching his talk show the first time, and it's just, I'm not just saying that because of this story. It's just not been funny. Don't you feel so sorry for these two? See, they're going to spin it as they're the victims, so let's try it. They've been kicked out of their house by their dad, by his dad. Uh, it's just ridiculous, right? I mean, they deserve it. I think it's great. I think King Charles, yay. This is a great move. I think they should have been kicked out a long time. It sounds like he started the process a while ago. I'm sure it takes a while, but yay. I think it's a great move, and... These two will just find more reason to paint themselves victims, and it'll just add more fodder for the next novel coming out, I'm sure. So, my question, Jay, is what do you think the conversation is happening right now between Harry and Meghan with all this news coming out and this going down? Oh, yes. Where, have you seen my mommy face penis cream? Harry, don't talk about mommy face penis cream. <laughs> We're almost out of money. I keep opening suitcases and they're empty. I wish I could say that's the only time he's ever said mommy face penis cream. <laughs> totally different context, though. You'd be surprised how often that comes up in everyday conversation. Here's my takeaway from this. I love King Charles. I hope that William is having a celebration with Catherine right now, dancing around saying, ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha! About all this, as Jay and I have been. What else? I hope the ginge and the whinge are crying themselves to sleep about this, and I hope the chaise lounge is okay. That's what I'm most concerned about in this story. Well, people of Windsor, be careful if Prince Andrew has any kind of housewarming party. <laughs> so now I put it back to you guys. Do you think King Charles did the right thing? Do you like this decision? Are you laughing like I am at Hank and Skank? What are your thoughts? Leave me comments below. If you like videos like this, Jay and I have been doing a lot on Patreon. Like every couple days putting something up, just being silly, breaking down interviews with Hank and Skank and really having fun with it. Um, but yeah, so check that out. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. But Jay, tell everybody where to find you. Well, you can't find me at Frogmore or at his website, diddler.info. Oh, but you can find me on YouTube as Dr. Bad Vibes and also on Twitch as Dr. Bad Vibes. Uh, I'll be streaming a little more frequently. And if you're in the video games, that's what I do. So watch me bleep those bloops <laughs> and punch all those uh, bad guys in the face till they cry. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us, Jay. And I can't wait to talk about Hank and Skank really soon. I'm sure they're going to do something real dumb coming up soon. Mm -hmm.